Uh, so let's uh, let's get into the gulag. It's the final part of the uh, of the interview. So basically, what we do in the in this we call it the CDL gulag. We do three rounds. We give you three names, and we're not talking about the gulag in Warzone where it's a one on one. We're talking about a hard hit in Russian prison camp where it's a labor camp. Very few people get out. We're talking political prisoners. It's a horrible place to be. We're going to give you three names, and you will give us one person who makes it out and the reason why. Are we ready to rock and roll, brother? Yes. Blake Griffin. Blake Balls. <laughs> or Brooks Kepka. I mean, this would be this would be a true a true. Wait, so are you saying that they're not fighting to the death for each other? They're just no, it's just they're they're out? in they're in the yard. They're they're doing the hard. They're doing they're doing a sentence right in in a prison that you cannot escape from. But one of them is going to escape, and we need a reason why yet. I mean, Blake Bortles is is top two people, uh, you know, top two of my favorite people in the world. He he has done so many things for me in my life. However, and and Blake Blake Kepka is a is a U.S. Open champion, one of the best world class golfers. So there's a lot. They all have a lot to bring to the table. But the one thing that I think would get Blake Griffin out of the Russian gulag is the fact that he is the current Blake of the Year. So I'd have to give him the slight edge in that category. That's a that's a solid take, man. Again, we, we've got some definite fans of the show here in production. And, I like that. And a lot. for those of those, I'm sure that you know, there's a lot of Call of Duty people watching this. Like, what is this guy talking about? On part of my take, we have a Blake of the Year competition where it's just we pick three Blakes, and in order to win, we all call them. We say we pick a date, and we say we're going to call you at some point during the day, and then whoever picks up the phone fastest wins. So Blake Bortles won two years ago. Blake Griffin won last year. He picked it up in two point eight seconds. So wow, yeah, he had nothing on that day. Yeah, he, he told no. He told us that he paid. He was working out, and he paid one of the kids that was like at the facility to hold his phone. He was like, hold my phone, and if if they answer, pick it up immediately. That's that's incredible. So he was he was. That's what I'm saying. It's that type of preparation. It's that type of thinking ahead that's going to get him what he needs to do to to get out of the Russian gulag. That is 100 percent what we're looking for in an answer, man. Well done. That's probably the best answer we've received. A lot of the times, it's like, yeah, they're going to be strong. They're going to be this, they're going to be that. But like that is preparation at the finest. He's got the yard under control. There is somebody carrying around the shiv. Someone's digging the holes for him. <laughs> you name it, mate. Okay, final round. <clears throat> Big Cat, PFT, or Billy Football? I mean, Billy Football would die in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? If it's a Russian gulag, now that I'm thinking about it, I actually think that Billy Football has the the physical size and he has a much enough <laughs> random information probably about Russians and things of that nature that he would somehow find his way to get out of it. Because Billy Football is the type of guy where it's like, you know, you think he doesn't know what's going on, but somehow, some way, he gets out. And that's, I think, what, you know, the spirit of Russian Gulag is, is like, once you're in, you're never getting out. Yep. And somehow, this guy gets out. Somehow, some way, Billy Football would be the guy to get out of there. It's That's magic. I that love it. Magic. 